Well, earlier we heard from Mohammed Sohail Shaheen, a member of the newly opened Taliban political office here in Doha. He joins me now live in the studio. Uh, thank you for coming in to speak to us. In a press conference uh, that you gave earlier, you said that the Taliban are going to support a peaceful political uh, solution. Uh, so is the Taliban going to stop fighting? As we said in our statement, the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan simultaneously follows political and military options. So you will not give up fighting then? Because there is no ceasefire now. They are attacking us and we are attacking them. So we, the, 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 the attacking will continue in parallel with uh, the peaceful talks for peace. But how can you say you're committed to peace if you continue to launch attacks? Uh, just uh, uh, less than a month ago, the Supreme Court, uh, the International Committee of the Red Cross Office, a humanitarian agency's office, was attacked by the Taliban. The suicide attacks continue. How can that be uh, helpful to try and achieve peace? First, let, Arma, uh, let me to make it clear, the ICRC office in Jalalabad was not attacked by uh, Taliban. It was maybe attacked by uh, any uh, sabotage militants. And uh, we were in contact with the ICRC and we offered our uh, help okay. to them. And uh, so this is, uh, you know, a kind of uh, uh, media are... reports, which is, you can call it, okay, sir. Uh, character but are, assassination. But you are saying that uh, the Taliban will continue its fight. It will continue to launch suicide attacks against air bases, against other targets. How can this co be conducive to peace? How are you, you know, committed to peace? Yes. First, the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan is not attacking civilians. That is our policy. But civilians are being killed yeah. in these attacks. You know, if there is any civilians killed, we launch, immediately launch investigation from our side to in investigate why the civilians were killed and how can they be prevented and who killed them. Even we afford to the United Nations and to the NATO forces let set up a joint team to investigate the civilians' killings and identify those who, uh, who are the responsible and then punish them. How can you continue uh, these uh, attacks with people being killed and say that you are committed to the peace process? Sir? First of all, our call target is, you know, military, military targets. It is not civilians, as I said. It is our policy. And even if we have read the messages of our esteemed leader, Mullah Muhammad Umar Mujahid, he said he ordered all commanders on the ground to prevent civilian killings and only target military installations. So how is this peace process going to move forward then if these attacks continue? How do you see this peaceful political solution moving forward? Uh, of course, when, the, uh, cease, when there is no ceasefire, this will continue because uh, we are also, there are nitrates against that. Uh, there is also bombardment. Uh, but one side that. has to stop fighting first. No, this can be if we move forward in this process. Uh, ceasefire can be uh, an item of agenda. And that is when we reach that, uh, that time. And before that, we have only begun in that way. So you will consider a ceasefire when you sit down with U.S. negotiators then in the coming days? When we sit, that, that will not be a ceasefire because our main uh, uh, problem of Afghanistan, which is uh, uh, the reason for, uh, for the war, is the occupation. 
when the occupation ends, everything will end. What reassurances can you give to people back in Afghanistan? They're very worried that things will go back to how they used to be under the Taliban. A democracy, women's rights, human rights, all this has not been addressed by the Taliban. It is addressed. If you have seen our speech uh, in uh, Paris, where our uh, delegation participated, we have addressed education of women. And how, I, have you, have, how have you addressed yes. the education of women? We, we, are, we are not against the education of women, but provided there should be will, you know, an Islamic will. And even we were not against the education at the time of the reign of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Well, how can you reassure people? How can you make sure that the problems of the past do not come back again if you continue with these attacks, if civilians continue to, to die in these attacks? Yeah, first of all, I would say we are victims of the black propaganda. We were and we are, you know. And the second thing is there are many attacks. Maybe, you know, there is uh, blowing uh, bridges and there is uh, burning uh, 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 schools, uh, and also there are other uh, uh, civilian killings, which is the Islamic Emirate is not involved in. Now, Wahid Monawa, who was on the program earlier, he's a former chief yes. of staff for the Afghan uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He said that the Taliban is at the negotiating table because you know that you cannot win militarily. What do you have to say to that? I would say for the past 12 years, there was 100,000 American troops and 50,000 Allied troops. And as they say, about 400,000 uh, Karzai administration troops and police, and they did not defeat us. And we are more powerful than we were 10 years ago. That is the ground realities. Yet you will come to the negotiating table. Sir, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for coming in to Thank speak you. to us. Mohammed Sohail Shaheen Thank is a member of the newly opened Taliban political office here in Doha. Thank you.